The Uvalde School District Police Chief's decision to wait before moving in on the gunman is now at the center of the mass shooting investigation. On Friday, Texas Public Safety Director Steve McCraw said the shooter was inside Robb Elementary School for more than an hour. At one point, nearly 20 officers stood by in the hallway under the belief an active attack was no longer underway. Of course it was not the right decision, it was a wrong decision, period. There's no, no excuse for that. Students trapped inside a classroom repeatedly called 911 begging for help. She asked 911 to please send the police now. 19 children and two teachers were killed in a fourth grade classroom during the worst school shooting since Sandy Hook nearly a decade ago. In the aftermath, a church group is offering comfort from its K-19. These visitors to the city reflected on how the world has changed in recent years. When we were growing up, we trained for tornado drills, hide under the desk. You know, now we're at an age where, hey, we got to train for an active shooter. Grief is compounded by outrage here in Uvalde. The changing timeline and details about police in action have many people asking why this happened, especially since Uvalde police have undergone active shooter training. Why didn't they make the right decision? Why didn't they go in? They got, they got their own assault rifles. They got their vests. That's their job. That's what they're there for. Christian and Jessica Garcia's daughter Kylie survived the shooting, but now the family and many in the community are questioning why police didn't act sooner. Donya Backus, CBS News, Uvalde, Texas.